We know that between 40 and 70% of the time that students spend on a course site, such as that in Brightspace, is related to content. And of that content, most of it is in the form of files. So uploading and managing these files is a really important part of your Brightspace knowledge. These files could include PDFs, lecture slides, PowerPoint slides, but they could also include programming language source code files, or files which are specific to the nature of your course. Let's take a look now at several ways that you can easily upload and manage your files. The quickest and simplest way to upload one or many files simultaneously is to drag and drop them into the content area where you would like them. You can do this from your Explorer window or your Finder window if you are on a Mac. As the files are dropped into the place, they upload and a progress meter is shown for each file. The files are uploaded in the order that you dragged them. However, if the order is not quite as you would like them, you can rearrange the files after they have been uploaded. And that's probably the easiest and simplest way to do it. You can go and individually adjust the settings for each of these files. And the most convenient way to do that if you've uploaded many files is to use the bulk edit button up here to do so. When you are finished, click done editing and you are returned back. A second way to add files is to click on upload create and then click on upload files. You might be misled and want to click on create a file but you might have seen in another video that that is actually or should be seen as create a page. So don't be misled, rather use upload files. In this window, you can drop your files here or click the upload button to select them from your computer. A progress bar is shown as each file uploads. The section down here indicates where the files will be saved. The default destination is in your course folder, and that is adequate for most files. Later in the video, we will show how you can manage the files in your course folder. When you have finished uploading the files, click on Add, and then you are done. As your course progresses, you'll be adding files, and sometimes you want to reuse a file that you have already uploaded. So to add that file, to make it visible to the students now, click on Upload Create, and then Upload Files. And once there, click on Course Offering Files. Now you can go select a file from the selection over here of files that you've uploaded at a prior time. For example, I'm going to select this file, and then I click on Add, and now it appears in the content area. A handy shortcut to get to the Course Offering Files is to click on Upload Create and then on this other setting, Add from Manage Files. This takes you automatically to the Course Offering Files section. There is another way to add files. As you can see, this is a fairly important and useful feature in the Brightspace environment. You can do this by clicking on Course Admin and then on Manage Files under the Site Resources section. Here you can click on Upload to upload multiple files or you can click on New File to create a single new file in the course folder. You can use this area to manage files, to recategorize them, move them around, and the nice thing is that any links to existing course content are automatically updated if needed. So go ahead and add files to your course and play around with it, or do it in your sandbox if you prefer.